Good evening, Carlos. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? How was your day? I am tired, teacher, and you? Oh, well, I'm not tired. I'm fine, actually. Thank you for asking. And uh, do you have a busy day? Repeat, teacher. Sure. Did you have a busy day? What do you mean in visitor? Ocupado. Ah, uh, yes, teacher. Oh, I see. All right. Yeah. Where do you work? In Garbal. Oh, I see. Carretera okay. Puerto de la Libertad. Mm. All right. There you go. Yes, teacher. So let's see here. We are just going to wait for, you know, a couple of minutes, perhaps one or two minutes for the rest of your classmates, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Hello, Raina. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Oh, you're going to be like as a listener. Okay. I understand. No problem. Hey, we have some people here joining the class. So I can see now Mr. Andre. Hello, Andre. How are you? Evelyn, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. I will. Great. Thank Excellent. You. Thank you. Oh, okay. I understood, Mr. Pardon. So you're going to be as a listener tonight. So no problem. All right. Let's see here. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. No problem. So let's see. Okay, I can see Ursula there.
Good night, teacher. Hello, Nuria. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. How was your day? Good. <laughs> good, good, good. Excellent, excellent. Uh, I was able to see as well Nuria. Hello. Oh, that was Nuria. That was Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Hi. All right. Let's see here. Oh, I was able to see Ursula as well. Good evening, Ursula. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm okay, thanks. Excellent. Good to know. Good to know. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So let's see here. Well, uh, we have waited for a couple of minutes already to, um, you know, for the rest of your classmates. So then perhaps the rest can start later, right? So I just want to say officially to all of you, good evening and welcome to the class, right? So I'm so happy to have you here again. So tonight we are going to continue with new activities regarding as well uh, the topic of the restaurants. You know, restaurants, we were talking about that last night. So we're going to continue, you know, with the same topic, but with different activities, of course, right? So let's see what's next. Let's remember what we had from yesterday. So let's uh, look, 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 look. So here we have a new exercise about restaurants, of course. As you know, normally I just divide the exercise. So for you to have it in one slide, so but you can guys see this one. So this one, we're going to do it together here in the main room, right? So in uh, what is it going to be about? So it's going to be very simple. We are going to be like reading the question and then providing an answer. So I am going to help you with the question number one, all right, and number two. So then you guys continue and help me with the rest of them. All right, so for example, it says right here, number one, when do most of people eat an appetizer? Remember, appetizer is also a synonym of... What's the synonym of appetizer? Synonym, synonym, synonym. Let's see if you remember this. Huh? What word from the vocabulary we learned yesterday is similar to appetizer? Maybe it's not. Um, could be, maybe. But there is another word. In France, in France. And, and how do you say that one? How do you say that one in English? We checked right. that yesterday. Uh -huh. Starters. Starters. That's correct. So an starter. Yes, that's right. That's right. So we have an starter. Now that we remember what is it, so we can continue with this one. So when do most people eat an starter? Before a meal? After a meal, during a meal, or at any time? What is it? Before, after, during, or before. at any time? What's the correct option right before. here? What is it? Before. Before. Because what's the meaning of before? Antes. Antes, exactly. So, antes the meal. Meal, antes de la comida. Very good. Thank you. You see, that was number one. Then let's go with number two. Number two, it says, which of the following is sometimes used with a beverage? Do you remember what is a synonym of beverage? Drink. A drink, exactly, right? So what do you use? A fork, a straw, chopsticks, or a knife? A straw. A straw, exactly, right? So remember... That is this like what we call here in El Salvador, pajillas or pitillos in Colombia for Mr. Pardo, right? So let's see. Um, then number three. Let's see, Ursula, please help me to read number three. Okay. A restaurant cashier is a person who? Okay. Can you read the options? Uh, wash their dishes. Take your order, cook your food, take your money. 
Okay, and what is the answer, Ursula? Letter D takes your money. Takes your money, exactly, all right? I have a question for you before I continue with this one. So I, I didn't ask you this before, and I'm sorry for that. Do you prefer to be called Ursula or Esteli? Mm, okay, so I will continue. No problem. Calling for... <laughs> All right, so thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so this one is going to be takes your money. Thank you. Now, please, Ursula, select the next person for number eight. Mm -hmm. The next person. Who is going to be the next person? Oh, the microphone. Ah, oh, perdón. Evelyn de Miller. Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Hello. Please read the question, the options, and then tell me the answer. Okay. Walk to restaurant, customers sometimes reserve. Mm -hmm. All right. So they okay, reserve what? Let hmm? be a spoon. Letter C, a bowl of flow. Mm -hmm. Letter D, a restaurant table. Thank you very much. And what is the answer, Evelyn? Letter D, a, a restaurant, restaurant table. table. That is correct. Correct, correct, correct. All right. You did it correctly there. Okay. So now let's see. Uh huh. What's the next one? Oh, select the next person, Evelyn, please. Okay. Sonia Esmeralda, Mauricio. Sonia, hello, Sonia. Good evening. Hello, teacher. All Good right, evening. so tell us what's going to be the one, the, I mean, can you please help me with number nine? Um... Which of the following is an example of a restaurant chain? Uh huh, an extra chain. Uh huh, what is a chain? Uh -huh. What is it? Chain. Uh -huh. Yes or no? Do you know it? Uh, creo que es D. Yeah, but what is a chain? No sé qué es. Creería que es como comida china, restaurante de comida china. No. Oh, similar, but let's say this one. Chain, it's um, rest. I mean, companies who have a lot of restaurants, right? Such as Pizza Hut, such as McDonald's, such as Burger King, you know? So, how do you translate restaurant chain, people, into Spanish? Mac uh, McDonald's. That's the answer, correct, right? But what is a restaurant chain? Okay. Cadena de restaurant. That is correct. Thank you very much, all right? So, and yes, Sonia, the answer is McDonald's because this is the only example we have right here, all right? So, a restaurant change, it's una cadena de restaurantes, you know, a company who has thousands and thousands of restaurants in the world, like perhaps Pizza Hut, Burger King, McDonald's, um, KFC, China Walk, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Is this clear? Okay. Great, excellent, thank you. And uh, now, Sonia, please, who's the next person? Um, sería Daniel Ernesto. Daniel, hello, Daniel. Hi. Good evening, my friend, so please tell me number 10. Which of the following words that describes salt? Mm -hmm. A salt. synonym of the word salt. What is it? Sweet. Mm -hmm. Sweet? Yeah. Why? Mm 
Sinónimo es contrario. Well, following describes salt, right? Following is siguiente. No, oh, perdón. No problem. Um, what is expensive? Expensive is a lot of money, right? So, what is it? Mm. Expensive rice should be. Uh -huh. White. It... White, blanco. All right, yeah. exactly, of course, because it says here, describe, you mm -hmm. know, describe, describe, describe. Describe la sal, y como era sal, salt, it's not expensive, right? It's not sweet, definitely not sweet, no. all right? It, it's not big, actually, so it's color white. So this is the answer. Okay. Thank you. So, Daniel, please tell me who is going to be the next person. Okay, let me see. Um, my Gustavo. Who? No hay Gustavo. Okay, Gustavo. No hay Gustavo, all right? Hi, Good teacher. Evening. Help me with number four, please. Yeah. Where can you open thin a uh, food core? Okay, very good. Remember, Being, this uh, word is... Oh, I'm sorry. Remember, this word here is fine. Please repeat it. Fine. Good job. Continue. Is in a, a supermarket. Uh, uh, uh. Anybody else? What is it? Shopping mall. In the shopping mall, yes, 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 yes. The shopping mall, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, people, when you go to Metro Centro eh, or Plaza Mundo, right? So you go to the food court, which is the place where you can see a lot of fast food restaurants in the same place, right? Thank you, that's the food court. Thank you very much. All right. Eh, Noe, tell me, who is going to be the next person? Um, Evelyn. Okay, thank you, Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Hello. Tell me with number five, please. Which of the following thing is a napkin sometimes made from? Uh -huh. Okay, first of all, let's it's practice this one. So, what is a napkin, people? Servilleta. Una servilleta, okay. So, what are napkins made of? Glass, paper, vegetables, or water? Mm -hmm. Okay. Paper. Paper! That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. That's paper. Very good job. Excellent. Now, Evelyn, tell me who is going to be the next person. Okay. Um, Wilfredo Antonio Luna. Wilfredo Luna. Hello, Mr. Luna. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. All right. So please help me with the number six question, options, and then the answer. Okay, what do people usually do with a plate? Mm, okay. Put food on it. Put food on it. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. Exactly, right? Well, they can do more things. Sometimes we put coffee or chocolate when we try to like, uh, you know, make it cooler, right? Okay, excellent. So let's see. Any other? Let's see. Volunteer, will fellow who's gonna be my next volunteer for number seven. Okay, the first in the list, Daniel. Daniel. All right, Daniel. Again. All right, go ahead. Okay. Which of the following things is sometimes refilling? Refilled. All right. So in this, which of the following things is sometimes refilled? A bill, 
a menu, Na, a cup of coffee, or a home delivery uh, order. So what is it? Let's see, a cup of coffee. Yes, 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 that's correct. That happens on, for example, have you ever uh, gone to Pollo Campero to drink coffee? All right, so you buy a coffee and they said like, would you like to have more coffee? And then you can continue drinking more and more and more coffee, right? That's like refilled. All right, there you go. Excellent. Daniel, who's the one for number 11? Tell me. Maritza Elizabeth. Maritza Elizabeth. Tell me. Which of the following thing is a size order? Side order. Okay, stop right there. Everybody, remember what is a side order? Uh, French fry. Yeah, French fries, exactly, right? Which is something that goes with the main um dish or the um like yeah, exactly, like the hamburgers as you said it there. Thank you. All right, so 12. Uh, who's the next one, Marisa, for number 12? We almost finished. Uh-huh. Who's the next one, Marisa? Carlos Rivas. Carlos, hello, Carlos. Carlos. Good evening, teacher. So tell me, uh, please read the question and the options. Okay, which of the following word best describes a tips? Let it be food, let it be money, let it see people, let it be place. Uh-huh, what is it? Let it see people. People, exactly or not, people? It's money. No, yes. money. 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 It's money because remember you give a tip at the end. Um, you know, to the waiter or to the waitress, right? So it's definitely money. Thank you guys. You did good. All right, my friend. So tell me who is going to be the next person. Hello. Ursula teacher. All right, Ursula, number 13, please. Okay. What do most people do with a restaurant tray? Food, food mm -hmm. or food, food with eat, and drink it, or put things with it. Uh-huh. What is it? Uh, food, food or meat. Exactly. Remember the tray, it's what you use to take the food, right? So tray, it's... What is tray, Ursula? La bandeja. La bandeja, exactly. Very good job. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Now, let's just continue with the next one. Um, 14, the last one, Ursula. Who's going to be the last one? Please tell us. The last one is uh, the vegetarian restaurant. Who? Not who. Who is it? Ah, who? Who? Mm hmm. Sorry. Oh. Um, Jim? Oh, you were reading that one. Uh, okay, so uh, I think okay. it like, it's okay. That's fine. We can finish with you here. All right. So what does a vegetarian restaurant not cook? It's going to be, obviously, letter? Meat. C. Letter C, meat. Exactly, right? So do I have any vegetarian here in the group? No vegetarian? Mm -hmm. no. 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 Okay, cool. No problem, right? So let's see. Let's continue with this. Everybody here, questions about the vocabulary? Questions, questions about the vocabulary? No questions? All right, excellent. So if you don't have questions, so let's just move forward to the next activity here. Okay. So let's see. So guys, if you see me like looking down here, it's because the camera is like here and the computer screen is here. All right. So it's not that I'm distracted or anything like that. All right. Okay, everybody, now we are going to start having an activity about reading, 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 reading. And pay attention because I have some questions at the end. 
Okay, so let's see. We are going to read and how about how to create a restaurant menu, right? Because that's the activity we're going to be working on tonight. How to create a restaurant menu. So for example, here it says, number one, develop your menu concept. Can someone help me to continue reading? Who can help me to read? I would like uh, to try to All right, Mr. Luna, go ahead. Uh, or Daniel, or Daniel, I don't know. No problem, I have more paragraphs. Daniel can be the next one. <laughs> okay, uh, the whole paragraph? Yeah, the whole paragraph, correct. Okay, uh, how to create a restaurant menu mm -hmm. or menu? Menu, menu. <laughs> how to create a restaurant menu, okay. Uh, number one, develop your menu concept. Mm -hmm. The first step, the first step to creating your menu is to highly define your concept. You may have a, a base or okay. even well-formed ideas about this, but it is a good idea to put them down, uh, to put them down or on paper to use as a reference as you decide on a specific menu items and your overall menu layout. For example, is it a casual or more formal restaurant? Sorry, for example, is it a casual or more formal restaurant? Mm -hmm. uh, are you concentrating on a particular type of you using you, 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 such as seafood uh, or maybe of a region such as the South Pacific? Uh, are you offering a full menu from uh, appetizers uh, to desserts or will you concentrate on an area such as a uh, such as sandwiches or pasta and entries? Entries? Entries, exactly, all right. Thank you very much. That was actually a very good job, all right? So thank you. I like the how you were reading this one. So let's try to understand this, all right? So the first step we're right here to develop, of course, or to create a restaurant menu, it's develop your menu concept. It's exactly what are you trying to offer, right? Are you going to sell fast food? What type of fast food are you going to sell? Are you going to go with pizzas? Are you going to go with hamburgers? Are you going to go with Chinese food, Mexican food, et cetera, right? So you need to set exactly or define what is the concept going to be about, right? And then you can get some, um, you know, other ideas, like the questions we have right here, for example, as you can see here, which is just like, yeah, it's going to be a casual restaurant or it's going to be a formal restaurant. So people will have to ask for a reservation before they go because it's not nobody will attend them. Or it's a, like a restaurant like everybody can go with a reservation. You just wait for the they just wait for the table to be available and that's it. Right. So you have to think about all those things. Right. Like it says here, are you concentrating on a particular type of cuisine? Cuisine is just like one type of food only. Chinese food, Mexican food, Italian food, etc. right? Uh, or seafood right here. Everybody, what is seafood? Do you remember this? What is seafood? Uh-huh. What's seafood? This one. Marisco. Mariscos or comida del mar, correct. That is actually right, right, right. So let's see, um, or like like food for different regions, such as the South Pacific, like Peru, all right, et cetera, right? Or, you know, sometimes people actually only send, sell uh, sandwiches, right? Such as Subway, for example, um, et cetera, right? So, hey guys, do you have any questions about vocabulary from the paragraph number one? Mm-hmm. Do you have any questions about the uh, paragraph number one? Vocabulary or anything? Mm -hmm. No? Can I continue? Yeah. Okay, cool. Excellent. Let me just continue right now here. So, let's see. 
we have here paragraph number two and three. Daniel, I remember you were going to read number two, right? Yeah. Please go ahead. Number two. Mm -hmm. We write a list of four ingredients. The next step to creating your, your menu is to list the ingredients. You'll need to create each dish. Are these ingredients real, real, really available? Will they continue to be available during the entire year? Mm -hmm. Or are they personal? Will there will there be large price variations during the year? Okay, thank you very much for that one. That was actually a very good job here. Uh, it says right there um, that to create, I mean, the, the next step is to create um, your menu. It's like the ingredients you will need in each stitch, all right? Are like, you know, those ingredients available. It says here, that's the word you were trying to say. Available, available, all right? Uh, which also you can find it here. All right, what's the meaning of available, people? Do you remember that? Disponible. Disponible, exactly, right? So, very good. And let's see the next one. Um, you know, you have to take that into consideration because, for example, imagine sometimes I always wonder how people who sell tortas do, uh, do because, like, Sometimes they always use avocado for the tortas, right? And sometimes we don't have here in El Salvador. We have to go and, and buy from Guatemala or from Mexico, right? And, and so on. Or like, you know, different type of ingredients from different locations, right? So let's see. Thank you, Daniel. Can someone help me with number three? Thank you, Miguel Angel. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, teacher. All right. Taste test and agents. After after you finalized your menu choice and found reliefs source for all the necessary ingredients, it's time to prepare the dishes. Taste them before serving so that you can make an adjustment as needed. Uh, it's a good idea to have some friends and K staff member taste the dish and give you input so that so that you'll have a variety of opinions outside your own. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. That's actually nice, right? So let's talk about the taste test and adjust. All right. What is the taste test? Taste test, taste, taste. What is the taste test, people? Do you know it? Hello? Yeah. Huh? It's provide. Exactly. Well, la prueba del sabor, right? So that's how we can actually translate it, right? Which it means like you are not going to say, like, oh, yes, I'm going to prepare some Mexican food dishes, right? And then do not taste it to see if they have exactly the correct flavor. So that's why it is important to, you know, um, test them to see if they are working and if they might like it to people. All right, so then uh, we have adjust, of course, to make some changes if something is not going uh, correctly, right? So, and then you go on this one right here. You finalize your menu choices and found in reliable resources for all necessary ingredients. It's time to prepare the dishes, all right, et cetera, et cetera, right? So something here, here is like, it is a good idea to have some friends or staff member to do it, right? So, because they are like people you can trust, right? They are going to give you a sincere opinion, right? Thank you. Everybody, before I move to the diff to the next step, all right, let me ask you again, do you have questions about this vocabulary? I mean, the vocabulary about these two paragraphs? Yes or no? Hello? Hello, hello? No teacher. No questions. Okay, cool. Excellent. So in that's the case, let's just continue with the next one right here. 
Number four. Hey, can I have a volunteer for number four, please? Who is going to be my volunteer? Hello, volunteer? Thank you, Evelyn. Please help me with number four. Okay, write of menu letters and descriptions. Start with the name of the dish. Ideally, one that succinctly describes the eating. You don't want to force the guests to read every eating description mm -hmm. on the menu. Follow this with the key ingredient. You don't have to add every single ingredient. Feature the main ones in any, any that mean being allergic concern, such as nuts or seafood. After you name it, the ingredient, you can add a single sentence about what makes the eating special. Think like your grandmother's recipe, flaky course or complex flowers. Complex. Flavors. Uh -huh. Flavors, exactly, flavors, flavors, all right? Thank you, that was actually a very good job, all right? So uh, now just let's just remember this one right here. I have a question for you. Uh-huh, what's the meaning of this word right here? Mm -hmm. What's the meaning, people? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello? Any idea? Not okay. No? All right, no problems. So we are going to check this one right here right now. All right, sure. there you go, which is just like, um, it's a word that it's not very common, I have to say it. I wanna send this to the chat right now. One second, where's the chat? Here it is. All right, so which is translated as a su si, sucintamente. All right, which it means? in a brief and clear express manner, right? So in a very short way, right? So like, for example, when you talk about the restaurant's menu and you want to um, order, for example, a pizza, uh, it does it just say Hawaiian pizza, included pineapple, ham, um, and uh, bacon, and that's it. It doesn't say anything else. It doesn't include a long description about the ingredients, that you are going to use on the dish. It's just something brief, something quickly, all right? Understand? Yes? All right, okay. so yes, that's the translation. Sucintamente, and in like standard Spanish, it will be breve, all right? So uh, let's see here. You don't have to force the guests to read every other description for the menu, right? So like just focus on key ingredients, all right? So again, if you talk about the key ingredients, what are the key ingredients in, for example, a Hawaiian pizza? Pineapple. Pineapple, of course, all right? What else? Cheese. Cheese. Ham. Ham. Exactly, right? So those are the main things. You're not going to add anything else, right? I mean, you're not going to be that specific with all the ingredients that includes, all right? So questions about this? No questions? Okay, cool. Yes, yes teacher. Flaky cross. Okay, so, oh, oh, this one right here. This one, you mean this one, right? Yes? Yes. Okay, no problem. Let me show you right now what is a flat crust. Which is going to be this one. Okay, let's see.
Do you see it or not yet? I'm sharing a new screen. No yet, right? Not. There you go. Yeah. Mm hmm So you see it? Yeah. It's, it's like a pie. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right, exactly. So we can go back right now to the paragraph. Let's see if this is changing. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. So now let's see. Let's go for the last one, which is about the price your menu, uh, price your menu for profitability, right? So who can help me with that one? What would here? Thank you, Esteli. So go ahead, please tell me what is it? Okay. Price your menu for profit. Uh, mm -hmm. To start, determine your full cost percentage. Okay. Most successful restaurants spend no more than 25 to 35% on the ingredients in their menu items. You can arrive at your menu price by dividing the cost of the ingredients to target full cost percentage. For example, suppose the cost of the ingredients in an item is six dollars and you, you have chosen twenty five percent as your full cost percentage. In that case you divide six dollars by twenty five percent to arrive at the remaining price twenty four dollars. All right, there you go. Excellent. Thank you very much in this one. All right. So determine the uh, your food cost percentage. You must successfully restaurants spend no more than 25 or 30% of the ingredients in their menu items, right? So you can like determine, like we have an example here. It says, for example, suppose the cost of the ingredients in an item is $6 and you have chosen 25% as your food cost percentage. In that case, you divide six by 25% to arrive at your price, uh, your, sorry, your menu price $24 all right so that's like how much you're going to use right so to invest and then how much you're going to get of course right so for example imagine in this case that the person is going to invest six dollars and then it's going to be getting here $24 imagine how much is it going to be all right so that's actually uh, what it says okay so well questions about vocabulary here Profitability. Profitability. All right. So, which is just like, it has to go with the profits. You know what are profits? Yes or no? No. All right. So, it's the money you receive. For example, when you have, when you are selling a product or when you are investing on a product. So, for just to give you an example, imagine mm -hmm. that you are going to sell bottle of waters. All right. So, let me see that one. So this one cost $1, but you are going to sell it in $2, you know? So the profit is going to be $1 for you, right? So you're going to recover the cost plus an additional dollar. Is that clear? It's All clear. Right. Yes, All right. Yes, all right, so like that one. Okay, okay, so let's see here. Anything else? No, no problem. So let's just continue here. Okay, let's see if you were paying attention people to the paragraph. So now it's time for you to get to this activity right here. Okay, so let's see. Oops, let's just go on this one. I am going to uh, share this here. And then you guys tell me, um, What's the correct answer? But to work on this one, we guys are going to be working or joining the breakout rooms, of course, right? So which is going to be here. 
that will be old. So let's see. Excellent, excellent. Everybody, I just opened the breakout rooms. Please join this one. So then you guys are going to basically answer the questions. The information, it was on the paragraphs, all right? So you just discuss it with your classmates there. Go ahead, please. All right, uh, Maritza, can you join the room? Thank you, Mr. Pardo, no problem. You can stay here. Yes. What, is the, what is the first step in cre creating a menu? Mm -hmm. um, defining your menu concept. Yes. Yes. Parece. All right. Good. You have one. If you have if you have mm -hmm. questions, please call me. I will be in a different room right now. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Hello. Hello. So your classmates didn't join the, the group? Yeah, este, si nos puede mandar el script shop de la Tarea, please. Oh, sure, absolutely. Right now. One second. One second, second. Uh -huh. I will send it to the WhatsApp group so everybody can see it, all right? Okay. Uh, what's the group here? Okay, here it is. All right, it's on the way. Well, it's being sent right now here. <laughs> One second, guys. I don't know why it's not going through here. Okay. It is in the chat right now, so you can see it. Please confirm if you can see it there. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Any other question or anything else? No, teacher. All right. Great, great, great. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Do you have any questions? 
ahorita vamos a empezar, teacher. Que, sí, que no encontraba la imagen. Oh, it's in the group, ajá. Sí, es. Ok, um, is um, answer the question. Yep, select the correct option there. Yes, correct. Ok. What is the first step in creating? The number one um, probably is letter C. What is first? Correct. Okay. That is correct. Thanks. Okay. So I will go to a different room. I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, compañeros, es de la segunda. Alguien que quiera participar. Hello guys, Reina, Eduardo, please. Hello teacher. Uh -huh. Vengo llegando. Estoy <laughs> so welcome. Why is it important to define your mindset? Okay. Estabilidad de los precios del menú. Correct. Yo opino que es que es the letter sí. C. Mm -hmm. mm, ok. What is the next step after creating a list of core ingredients? The number five, what is the next step after creating a list? Ah, pero que ahí está también. Es que aquí está. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> yes, like, trampa, eh? like surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Creating a list of ingredients for each. <laughs> Is the same. Writing a. Writing a. It's the same question, the number four and the number five. It is, yes. Okay. It is says. It is saying. Uh -huh, so the little description. Okay. Letter C. How can you determine the price? For H, you know, the cuts of ingredients. How can you determine the letter A? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Dividir this el costo de los ingredientes. Um, considering the by the target customer Yo me inclino por el literal A. Ok. Me too. The yeah, dividing it's the key word there. That's the important word there, divided. Okay, we finish, I think. Awesome, very good, very good. There you go.
All right, so we are going to, um, you know, close the rooms right now and then see. Uh, we're going to check the answers together. Let me tell you something. At the moment, you are the only group who have realized that the question four and five, it's exactly the same thing, right? Everybody else is selecting different options in that one. But of <laughs> course, you know, it was, uh, you know, with the purpose of confusing you, right? So good job. Very good job. Thank you, teacher. So let's just go back to the main class right now, all right? Okay. Recording in progress. Recording in progress. What was that? We are just waiting for the rest to come here. To return from the breakup room. Then, great, great, great. Okay, everybody, welcome back. All right, so it's time for you to, um, you know, share your thoughts regarding this. Okay, so let's see. Okay, now everybody, please tell me who is going to be my volunteer for question number one. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Wilfredo. Go ahead, Will. Uh, okay. What is the first step in creating a menu? Mm -hmm. um, letter A, pricing. Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Uh, defining your menu concept. Let okay, excellent. I was about to say, mm -mm, that's not the correct <laughs> one. But yes, thank I you, know thank you for correcting one. Okay, so let's see this one. So it's going to be this one, right? Is that the correct one, Will? No. Ah, okay. So letter, what is letters? A is letter C. Letter defining your menu concept. Which one is it? Letter C. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. So you go on that one. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. So thank you, my friend. Any volunteer for the question number two? Hey, teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Please go ahead. Why is important to define your menu concept? The option correct is the letter C to decide or the pricing strategy for me. This one, you say this one. The letter, ah, sorry, to identify is the letter C to identify core ingredients. Ingredients, okay, excellent. So, my friend says that this is the correct one. Do you agree? Hello, hello. Do you agree with that one? Mm, I think that it's letter A. It's letter A. Determine the target, target customer. customer. Yes. What, what about the rest? Yes, letter A. Letter A, exactly, right? So it's going to be this one right here. But thank you very much, my friend, for trying to share the answer there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, what about now number three? Who's my volunteer for number three? Hello, hello? Me? Okay, that was Jill, right? Yes. Go ahead, tell me. Okay. 
What are some factors to, uh, to consider when deciding how many menu items to have? Mm -hmm. um, is C, target customer preference. Target the customer preferences. Jill says this is the correct option. What about the rest? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Hello? Everybody else? Are you there? Uh, D. All of the above? All of them? The above. Yay, that's actually correct. Let's see this one. Let's see if you don't remember this. Let's go back to this one. All right, so do you mean your concept? Mm -hmm. You find your concept. Uh, create a list of ingredients, taste and adjust. The next test for any menu ingredients. Are these ingredients available? They will continue available in the entire year or they will be seasonal with a uh, large price variation during the year. All right, so it says right here, what are some factors considered when deciding how many menu items to have? So it's gonna be like target the customer preferences. Mm -mm. It is actually a different one. So what is it, people? Hey. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So it's going to be what? The availability of ingredients, yes or no? Yes. Yeah, absolutely, right? What is it? Because as mentioned before, right? So we had to consider that um, to see if the products are going to be available during the year or it's going to be just part of the year, et cetera, right? Thank you. What about a volunteer for number four? Number four, number four? What is the next step after creating a list of core ingredients for each dish? Each. Okay. Um, a is a letter C. Letter C. Writing our menu titles and descriptions. She says this one right here. Everybody, do you agree? Letter D. Letter D. Thing. So we change it for letter D now. Oops. Okay. Taste, taste, taste testing and the adjusting. Any other option? Or is this the correct one? Yeah, that's the correct one right there. Thank you very much. All right. So what about number five right now? Volunteer for number five? Is the letter D. The letter D, taste and testing and adjusting? Yes. Why? Because the question number four and the question number five is the same. Exactly. Thank you very much for sharing that point, right? So question number four and question number four. Number five, I'm sorry. It's exactly the same, right? Same questions, same options, and of course, same answer, right? So yes, definitely was supposed to be the same thing there. All right, thank you. All right, who can help me with the last one? Uh -huh. What is going to be the last one here? Hmm, what's the last one? Hello, everybody. How can you determine the price for each menu item? Uh-huh. What is it? Hmm. By dividing the cost of ingredients 
by the target food. That is correct. By dividing the cost of the ingredients by the target food cost percentage. That's correct. Correct, correct, correct. All right. Thank you. Okay, everybody else, you did wonderfully. So you did actually a good job with all the answers right there. So I congratulate you for that one. Thank you, everybody. Good job, good job, good job. So now let's see this one. We have been talking about these things right here. And let's just go ahead and verify this part right here. Now it's your turn, your turn, your turn, your turn, all right? So you guys are going to work in groups and organize a menu for a fast food restaurant in your city. You can be as creative as you want talking about the fast food restaurant so you can be creative with the name all right you can talk about hamburgers pizza chinese food mexican food italian food whatever you want right but the menu needs to have five categories appetizers snacks main course dessert and drinks all right ideally each category should feature three or four items all right Pay Excuse me, pay attention to that one. Three or four items per category. So three appetizers, three snacks, three main courses, three drinks, etc. right? So you are going to create your own menu. You can use any app on your phone or any app on your computer to create it. You can use PowerPoint, you can use Canvas, you can use whatever, or you can use your notebooks and then you can show it like this, all right? But I want you to like, please work on this one because later you are going to share your menus with other classmates. And at the end, we are going to vote for the one that sounds more appealing. All right. So like the best one. All right. Understand? Yes. Okay. So for this activity, we are going to return to the breakup rooms and work in teams again so we can create this um menus right hey questions about the activity it's it clear did you understand it okay but anyway if you have questions remember you can call me to your group so now we'll join the breakout room and to explain the things you need to clarify all right go to the rooms right now my friends please Henry, Henry, good evening. Henry, you're going to be in room number three. Okay, there you go. Jill, Daniel, do you have problems joining the group? No? Okay, cool. Awesome. Eh, y lo podemos hacer algo parecido. No sé si nos pasamos sí. en eso. Sí, sí, así, así podríamos eh. ver. Déjame ver, quiero ver dónde está la. Bueno, entonces aquí van a estar las indicaciones. Y vamos a basar en esto. Cinco categorías. Sí. Eh, ok, entonces, uh -huh. appetizers, <coughs> snacks, main course. No sé si lo vamos a poner en ese orden. Sí, podemos. Podemos comenzar en ese orden. Ok. Uh, snacks. Enter. Enter. Uh, main course. Y de la mano. 
Comenzamos con los aperitivos, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Primero, eh, quizás seguir los pasos que, que vimos anteriormente, que es... No Spanish. Sorry. Uh, first, we need to define uh, our menu concept. Ok, este... So, what do you want? You want a fast food restaurant about food, about pizza, hamburgers, egg sandwich, etc., right? Okay. Okay. What about it will be, you know, uh, Nuria? Um... Mm. Mexican food. Mexican food. For example. Like tacos, tortas. Yes. Okay. So it will be our concept. Uh, Mexican. Okay. Uh, what could be the appetizers? We need at least three or four items. Of each one. Tortilla soup. Oh, that's an appetizer. Yeah. Or... Remember that normally soups are um, the appetizers, right? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Nachos. Nachos, tú, ok. Ok. Um, nachos. Number three. Mm, if we are talking about Mexican food. Quesadillas. Quesadillas. That's. Mm, well. Ok. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. It's... I'm just like, you know, sharing my opinion and it's your creativity. Let me go to a different room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, teacher. But thank you for your help, support. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, the number four. How you doing? Who's working on this? Alone. I'm working. Yeah, I'm working a piece paper. paper. Okay, cool. Yes. So you can take a picture and send it later, all right? Um okay. If you need help, just call me, okay? I will go to a different room right now. Okay, thank you, teacher. Las ah, entradas que que ponen en Oh my god, this is Spanish. <laughs> Ok, 
Teacher, teacher. Si no, no vamos a terminar nunca. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to stay here so you can speak English. Algunas palabritas. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, una pregunta. Tell me. La, bueno, en español se lo va a preguntar porque no sé cómo. La, los aperitivos es similar a entradas. That's correct. Ok, y los snaps son acompañamientos. Equal work oh. as a snack, uh -huh. Podría okay. ser también. Uh -huh. Porque tenemos una, hay una confusión entre los snacks y los aperitivos, si son lo mismo, o sea, o similares. I mean, pueden ser servidos de la misma forma, but you decide if you want a snack or you want an appetizer, you know? Ok. So remember que un appetizer could be una sopa, soup, or things like that. Y un snack that can be something different, right? It could be snacks, could be fries, you know. Mm -hmm. In a small portion. Es que los snacks, teacher, son más como los antojitos, ¿verdad? Ajá, que... uh -huh, like that. Something additional, basically. Entonces, como hablamos de comida rápida, lo, un snack podría ser las papitas fritas. Um, aros de cebolla, algo así. Yeah, onion rings, etc. Right? Ok. Los nachos. Nachos, por ejemplo. Mm -hmm. Los hot dogs. Mm, that could be like the main thing here. Ah, okay, okay. Mm. Pan con ajo? Garlic bread. My internet is unstable. Come. My internet is unstable. Oh, the internet. Okay. Eh, por ejemplo, las entraditas en, en el balcón restaurant es a uh, cookies for the for the stations. Por ejemplo, en holidays eh, eh, estar es a uh, cookies with the holidays o tree o Muñecos de nieve. Esas son las entraditas. Uh -huh. Okay. I will go to a different okay. room. If you need uh, anything, well. let me know, all right? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Bueno, la primera dice trabajar en grupos y organizar un menú para un restaurante de comida rápida. Ok, sí, está bien. Y luego de eso, la siguiente indicación decía o dice...
-huh. El menú debe tener cinco categorías, aperitivos, snack, plato principal, postre y bebida. Bueno. Y Nosotros. entonces nos falta... Oh my God, Spanish. <risa> no. Uh -huh. es... Is the restaurant of comida me uh, mexicana. Mexican food. Yes. yes. All right. What are the in like the appetizers? Appetizers with or the starters. Yeah, we can be nachos or sopa de tortilla, jalapenos, rellenos. The appetizers. Duda. Appetizer and a snack is the similar. They can in be español it's aperitivos. Correct. Es lo mismo. Yeah, it's oh. actually very similar. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The indicated, the indication, number three, say, in, que, in general, cada categoría debe incluir tres o cuatro elementos. Bueno, we finish. You finish? Finish. Okay. Yes. You have to present it. Uh, what? Yes. So you're going <laughs> to share, you're going to share your screen and says, this is my menu. Okay, one moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, entonces the main course to usted va a presentar, Sonia. <laughs> um, yo no, fíjate que mi compu se está actualizando desde que iniciamos <laughs> la clase. Y todavía me dice que le falta un 20%. No lo sé, Sonia. Ah, Daniel nos va a ayudar. <ríe> en serio. We, we... No, hola. Estoy en una plática de solita. Ok. I will go to a different classroom to see how the other guys are doing, ok? Okay. All right. No more Spanish. Bien, la y nuestro menú. Okay, en el menú principal. Ah, no Spanish. Stick. Main, main course, course. Main, main course, course, exactly. Main course. Yeah. Okay. Beef steak uh, with shrimp. Um, ¿Cómo se dice pechuga? Chicken breast. Chicken, chicken breast. And lasagna. Lasagna is lasagna, the same thing. Sí, lasagna. Mm -hmm. es, stuffed chicken breast. Stuffed chicken breast, yes, correct. Stuffed. Like pechuga rellena. Okay. okay. Uh, desert ice cream, cheesecake, um, brownie. Uh, apple pie. And drink uh, pink lemonade, beer, coffee, and tea. Okay. Okay. Oh. Teacher. Yes. Our restaurant is all you can pay. All you can pay or all you can eat? <laughs> no, all you can all pay. You can oh pay. my God, that doesn't sound good. <laughs>
ready, teacher. You ready? Remember that you guys are going to um, present it, right? So you have to show it, you have to create it. I wanna see like, you know, it's on paper. You can use Paint, Microsoft, PowerPoint, or anything to create it, okay? Okay, teacher, we are be... prepared in this, in, in this moment. All right, yes. It has to be something really good, visually speaking. Okay, right now I will go to a different room so you I can give you more time to see how you're doing, all right? En vez de la taquiza, le puedo poner eh, la chimichanga. Ah, amazing en Spanish. Chimichanga. Amazing Spanish. <laughs> We're sorry. You have to hear that, teacher. <laughs> okay, what, uh, what was the name? Uh, Nuria. Torta, in English. <laughs> no, the, the other one. Chimichanga. Chimichanga, chimichanga yeah. is a snack. Snack. No, it's it's a principal. It's a main course, as uh, according to yeah. Nuria, teacher. And what is the chimichanga for you, Nuria? Main course. Yeah, but what is it? ¿Qué es? Ajá. Es que, bueno, yo me como eso y me quedo llena, pero es como <laughs> un burrito más pequeño. No. Mm. Mm -mm. Well, I know a different chimichanga then. Okay. What is a chimichanga uh, according to you, teacher? It's it's like sausage covered by a tortilla. You know what is sausage? It's a little a little plate then. To me, it's like an entrance, right? But uh, yeah, it's how can I say this one? Yeah, you, it, she's right. It's like a small burrito, right? So, but there are different type of chimichangas, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue with the prices. Mm. 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 That cost almost always cost uh, at least three dollars. The others, three dollars, right? right? Yes, no, Four five dollars. Five dollars, oh my god, so expensive. Where, nah. <laughs> okay, five dollars. So, torta, those two los parados. Uh, Nuria, what about la taquiza? No, eh? Um, hmm. What do you think? It includes uh, many things. Uh, for me, 90, 99. 90, okay. I will write what you, what you say. 90, 90, 90, 99. Yes. What? Yes, 90, 90 no way. way. Yeah. Are, are those Mexican pesos or what? <laughs> <laughs> are you sure, Nuria? 90? Nine. 91. 99. Yeah. No, oh, it's 9. No, no, 9. Okay. Nine. 99. <laughs> okay. But, but yeah. that... That makes no sense, Nuria. How come you're gonna have like five dollars for three tacos, but you're gonna no, have like fifteen no, tacos? It's a uh, more tacos. La taquiza, more more tacos. No, that's what I'm saying. La taquiza is like around fifteen tacos, or not? No. And it includes torta, and it includes uh, burritos. It's it's, 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 it's uh, something to to the uh, to 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 share with others other people. 
mm, okay, cool. So I guess we have different concepts of food here. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> what you are, are, are saying is that the price is, is almost the same, the tacos and la taquiza, right? Right, yes. Okay, so it's better. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, Noria, you have eaten uh, nachos with ice cream. Uh, how much is cost? Um, two dollars. Okay. What about the cheesecake? Uh, no, eh? Uh, one dollar. Okay. And the lemon pie? One dollar. Okay, it will be cheaper. The drinks, something lemonade is very expensive in some places. All right, I'll go to a different room, guys, okay? No Spanish, remember? <laughs> yes, teacher, sorry. Okay, guys, Um, what about the cost? Ya tenemos los cinco de... The hamburger, Edwin. Solo yo por ponerle la, la soda, me faltaría ahí. No Spanish. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. We finish with hamburger, Edwin. <laughs> No. Which one is missing? We have a starter, a snack, or okay. which one is missing? A snack, yes, finish. A snack is it's okay. The drinks? It's okay. The drink is okay. This, the the third we have a dessert. This one minute. One minute, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dessert, not. 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 Maybe we can try apple pie. Apple pie. Yes. Okay. So we have a two two items. We only need one more. Maybe? Only... Sorry. <laughs> Estaba editando words y me perdió el, el archivo. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god.
Okay, we'll go to a different room to see what they are doing, all right? Teacher. Yes? Um, I confuse the starter with, with the snack. The oh, what, excuse sorry. me? I, uh, uh, the, I don't know how is the difference between the starter and the snack. I confuse about that. They are very similar, actually, right? So, but remember that the snacks is something additional, right? So, it's not like specifically like a starter. Normally, a starter is a soup, normally. Mm -hmm. And uh, the snacks could be something like uh, nachos, like um, a small portion. Huh? French fries. Mm -hmm. potato chips. They have exactly right. Okay. So like that one. Onion rings, for example. Onion ring. That is a snack. Correct. Okay. All right. So I'll go to oh. a different room right now, okay? Okay, teacher. Thanks. All right. Hello? Yeah. You finished? Hello. Yes, sir. Okay, so... You have the menu ready but to present it? No más que en el cuaderno lo hicimos, teacher. No problem. So you can actually um, take a picture and send it to the chat so we can project it. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. I will see what other uh, people are doing in the room so we can continue with this one, all right? Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Are you finished? Yes, I think so. So are you ready to present it? Not ready. Not ready? No. Why? <laughs> it's ready. all in Spanish. Ah, no, no. The, no. Our restaurant is in Spanish. No, no, no Spanish accepted. <laughs> the Mexican food is in Spanish. Of course, right? The menu. Okay, stop moving it so I cannot see it. Let me see. Um, <laughs> let's see this one. Oh, I'm sorry. Here I am in a different classroom. I have two different rooms available. Okay. So, did you already have it? Like, on a presentation so you can see it or you have it on your notebook? Mm, Hello? I don't understand mm. the question. Do you have the menu on your notebook or you have it on, on an app? In the notebook. Okay, so please take a picture and send it to the group so I can show the pictures later, all right? Okay. All right, so I will go with the last room right now, okay? Okay. Oh my God, the Spanish again. Spanish. Hello, teacher. 
Oh, okay, the menu, let's see. All you can pay, oh my God. <laughs> Appetizer, Original. nachos, snacks for corn, pretzels, walnuts, main course, steak, okay. Stuffed chicken breast, lasagna. Um, you know, I wouldn't say sorbet, I would say ice cream, actually, it's more common. Mm. Okay, cheesecakes, orange juice, coffee. Coffee is missing one E at the end. It's double F and double. Oui. Yes. Beer. Oh my God. Oui. That's fine. All right. So we are going to stop here with the. Uh, breakout room so we can go back to the main section, all right? So you can okay, present the menu. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, more people is joining the room again. Okay, okay. Perfect, perfect. All right. Welcome back, everybody, to the main room again. All right. So we are going to start um, looking at the menus, and uh, we're going to be paying attention to your classmates explaining everything here. Okay, who wants to be my first volunteer? Uh -huh, uh -huh. My first volunteer. No volunteers? Okay, no problem. So my volunteer will be the last person who uses the chat, the chat here in Zoom. And tell me, how do you say in English? How do you say in English in the chat, all right? Pay attention, the chat. How do you say in English? Anoche llovió, pero no escuché. Mm -hmm. In the chat, on the chat, on the chat, on the chat. Let's see. Is there a trap, teacher? Huh? Is there a trap? A rap? Trap, trap. Trap, song. I, I, I don't get it. Can you repeat it, Will? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> what 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 you are saying? Is uh -huh. that a trap? No, it's not. I'm just saying the last one who texted that on the chat, it's gonna be my first volunteer. Okay, that's the reason why I am asking you. Ah, that. just to see if you're going to be the first one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. No, the last one, the last one, the last one. Mm -hmm. Very close, Nuria. I would I will say in a different way. No, definitely not, Daniel. <laughs> All right. The last night rain. When I, uh, uh, Mr. Pardo. So no simple passing rain. Last night it rained, but I don't not listen. David, the spelling in the auxiliary. Mm -hmm. 
That's my dream, but I did not hear. Reina, that's the correct one. Very good. Eduardo, mm -mm, I wouldn't use listening. Uh huh. It was raining last night, but I did not listening. No, Ursula, not the correct grammar structure. No ing with didn't. Mm -mm. Maritza, it rained last night, but I didn't listen. Yeah, I wouldn't use listen. I would use um here, but yes, like Reina's answer is the correct one. Last night it rained, but I did not hear. Exactly, exactly. Reina, good job. All right, so last night rained, but I don't listen. Mm -mm. No, I passed. I hear Daniel. No, passed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Who's going to be the volunteer? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It looks like Daniel will be teacher. It, it, what about you? What is your answer? I forgot the okay volunteer. The answer. Thank you very much. We had the volunteer right there, Mr. Luna. Okay, I will share the screen my screen, but I don't know if some of my classmates can explain it. That's our our menu. Amazing. That's nice. Okay. Don't be gote, all right? Cool. So who is going to explain that? I don't know, Nuria or Noe. Microphone is yours. <laughs> what about you? Okay. Uh, I um, mean, you guys can actually take one part of or one section of the menu, right? So you can start with Fred and then your classmates can help you, of course. Okay, no problem. The restaurant's name is Don Bigote. It's about Mexican food. And the menu has five categories, uh, as you can see on the screen. Uh, for example, the appetizers, we have uh, three categories. And we have a uh, tortilla soup that cost uh, $2.99. Okay. Uh, uh, the, the nachos too uh, is the same cost. And we have quesadillas. It's an appetizer uh, in our case. We we think it's, it is an appetizer because it's a little quesadilla. Mm. Uh, don't imagine a, a big quesadilla. No, it's, it's a little. Okay. okay. Um, and the main course, uh, of course, is uh, Mexican food. Uh, tacos would be the, the one of the main courses. Uh, it costs $2.50. Uh, tortas, of course is Mexican food <laughs> and uh, the cost is three dollars because it includes uh, many kinds of uh, of meat uh, and for uh, uh, we have the special one that is a uh, banquet la taquiza it includes many kind of, of tacos tortas burritos and uh, the cost is a uh, Ninety dollars and ninety nine cents. Ninety dollars. Yes. Ninety dollars. Yes, it's, it's very cheaper. Um, and it includes many 90? things. Did you say ninety? Just confirm ninety. Sorry, <laughs> I was remember when we were doing the the, the <laughs> menu is nine dollar and ninety nine cents. Ah, I'm that's sorry. right. Okay, Will. <laughs> now maybe your classmates can continue with the menu. Nuria, no way. Okay. Um, I am um, uh, the drinks, drinks. In, I have a lemonade, uh, one dollar, soda, one dollar, and um, pineapple frozen, two dollars. And uh, snacks, uh -huh. French fries, two dollars. Fried tortilla with the cheese sauce, one um, fifty cents. Um, papanator, uh, two dollars fifty cents. No, eh? No, eh? 
no está. Ok, en desserts, uh, nachos with ice cream, eh, two dollars, and cheesecake, eh, one dollar, and lemon pie, one dollar. That's it, okay. teacher. Okay, thank you very much, all right? So everybody, let's give an applause to those guys because, yeah, they definitely, all right, so we're here uh, having a nice creativity in the menu. Look at those tacos, people, imagine. And you have three different type of tacos there, chicken, beef, and uh, what's another one? I forgot how to say this one. Pastor That's tacos. Good. Yes, imagine. Oh, my God. I want to eat all those tacos right there. So thank you. Good job. Well done. You follow the structure and then you are also very creative on that one. Thank you very much. Good job. Everybody mm -hmm. applause for them, please. Thank you. All right. So who's my next volunteer? Tell me. Hello. Hello. Well, oh, David. Hello, David. Hello, teacher. Okay, uh, yes, so you actually have a digital or you worked on the notebook? Uh, digital. Okay, please share your screen. Okay. Oh, what a beautiful baby. Okay. Oh, you can pay. Oh, it's, my God. Is <laughs> our menu, okay. the restaurant name, all you can pay? Uh, my team is made up of Marixa, Jill, and me. Okay. Uh, option, appetizers, nachos with, appetizer, nachos with beans, French mm -hmm. fries, mini soap, nachos cost $3, French fries $5, mini soap $3, snack, popcorn, Two dollar, pretzel, two dollar fifty, walnut, three dollar. Main course, stick, six dollar, stuffed chicken breast, eight dollar, lasagna, five dollar. Dessert and drinks, ice cream, two dollar, snow, two dollar, cheesecake, three dollar, and, and drink. Uh, sodas, orange juice, one dollar fifty. Coffee, one dollar, and beers, three dollars. National, national, national beers. All right, so very good, excellent. Thank you. An applause for this group as well. Look at this one. So that that sounds like that looks like really delicious dish right there, right? So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good, 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 good. All right, well done. I liked it. So thank you, David, and room number five members. You did it good. So now tell me, everybody else, who's my next volunteer? Next volunteer, next volunteer. No? Okay, no problem. So David, it's your opportunity to choose the next volunteer. And um, 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 uh, Ursula, Ursula, hello, Ursula and team. Hello, teacher. So, you did it on the notebook, Ursula? Mm, no, we try to make a uh, uh, digital. But I don't know if Edwin is available. Hello, Edwin. Hi, teacher. Can you show your screen? I'm um, sorry. No finish. Eh, no recuperé el archivo. Estaba editando. <gasps> oh, my God. We missed the, the file. Oh. <laughs> Or, so you don't have it not even on your notebook or anything like that? No. Um only um maybe if we, if we can we can uh, only speak. 
and explain the 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 menu maybe yeah that would be okay okay um we have the course in a pizza mm -hmm. and um the snack uh i'm sorry main course a pizza hamburgers and hot dogs mm -hmm. and dessert we have apple pie and ice cream and tiramisu drinks we have a frozen and soda and lemonade lemonade a starter uh, uh, we have a potato chip and, and mini nachos with cheese okay and in a bagel and the snacks we have palitroques and and no little cheese i don't know how, how i forgot the 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 name no little the queso and um um French fries um only okay okay fine 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 so just uh so recommendation right so we have the palitroques they also have um a name in english right so so you're called like this the breadstick so you can say like breadstick. that breadstick. breadstick correct okay thank you all right Thank you. I truly appreciate the effort, right? And unfortunately, it didn't um, work digitally, but I really thank you very much for trying at the end, all right? So, and we still have time for one more. So who's going to be my volunteer? If I don't have a volunteer, so please, Ursula, help me to select the next person. Okay. Next one is... Reina? Reina. I'm sorry, Reina. Hey, Reina. I cannot understand you uh, very well. So, what did you say? Hello. Yes. Eh, este teacher no le pusimos precios. Oh, okay. I understand. But please eh, explain it to us. Mm -hmm. Okay. The restaurant is El Paso. Mm -hmm. The menu, appetizer, onions ring, mini sandwiches, cheese fingers. Snacks, bread with garlic, nachos, chili and meat. You can tell us the prices. ¿Cómo? I know that the prices are not on the image, but you can tell us the prices. ¿Puedes decirnos sí. los precios? Yes. Okay. Uh, May course pizza. Um, five dollars. Okay. Tacos, three dollars. Uh -huh. Hamburgers, uh, two dollars. Hot dog, two dollars. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Dessert, three milk, um, three dollars. Okay. Two dollar cookies, one dollar for unit. Okay. Drink soda, one dollar. Water, sorry, lo puse en español. <laughs> uh, water, one dollar. Juice. Juice. 
Yes, $2. Two dollars. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. That was actually good as well. So you did it good. Thank you for uh, participating and trying to explain it. Remember that the importance is that you understood the activity and you try to do it as well the best way possible. So now let's see if we can actually go on this one. Uh, Jill, hello, Jill. Hi. <laughs> Who are you working with? Who? Huh? Who was your group? Number five. Oh, number five. So you were the like, okay, you were the first one, right? Any, anybody else who's missing? Evelyn, Sonia. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Anybody else missing here? Nuria. Present. Okay, very good. Excellent, excellent. So anybody else missing here? Okay, all right, excellent. Okay, no worries. So we are going to, um, you know, stop right here because it's actually time for you to go, all right? But please, 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 before you uh, leave, let me just go ahead and verify here the attendance quickly, 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 so you can go and rest right now here, okay? So let's see. One quick second. Thank you guys, I just wanna congratulate you. So you were very creative to work with the, um, with the creation of those menus, right? So it seems to be that you understood yesterday's class, which is something positive for me. Okay, so let's see this one. One second. All right, Mr. Andre Pardo Camacho. Oh, he's there. Oh, listen here. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Enrique Rivas? No. All right, Daniel Ernesto Membreño Rivas? Present. Thank you. David Emanuel Custodio? Present teacher. Edwin Galdames? Present teacher. Evelyn Molina? Present. Eh, Jill Menjibar? Present. Guillermo Abrego? Henry Giovanni Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Eduardo Flores. Let's see here. Eduardo. Not here. All right. Eh, Catherine Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Jesus Martinez. Maritza Elizabeth Martinez. Present. Thank you. Miguel Angel Santos. Present teacher. Noé Gustavo Núñez. So no eh. Oh my goodness. All right, so Nuria Aviles. Present teacher. Reina Garcia. Present teacher. Sonia Mauricio. Present teacher. Esteli Gomez. Present teacher. And Will Luna. Present teacher. Thank you everybody for participating. I hope you have a wonderful night and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Take care.